want to give a shout out to Supergirl, the cast, the writers, the directors, Melissa Benoist and McCad Brooks. But I particularly want to praise the racial diversity of the show and how that is not an issue. And as a person who, although I don't look like it, is 53, that's why I'm Zenny 62, I was born in 1962, I remember a time when you would watch television shows like Superman or Wonder Woman and the cast was entirely white. You wouldn't see anyone that looked like me. And you had to, if you were a fan of a show, anybody does this, you sort of put yourself into a situation as a bystander or helping out your hero or in that. In, in, but in this case, you can actually do that because you see people who look like you in the story or who represent who you are. Like Jimmy Olsen, for example. Yeah, we're both bald and black. <laughs> he's younger, but he doesn't look that like he's that much younger. But I digress. The bottom line is, every there's something in this move, this television program for everyone, and yet that's not the issue. And it's contemporary. It points the what points toward a society that is very much like the one you and I want to live in and do live in, and really sticks a thumb in the eye of those people who have a problem with diversity without even making it an issue. And out, and on top of all that, the show has great stories, great scenes, well acted. I can't ask for anything better. So I just want to say I thank you so much, and God bless everyone involved with the show. Blake Neely. Drinks on me at the next Comic-Con, or is it the drinks are on you? I think it's your turn. I'll figure that one out. All right, great music, though. See ya.